join us at Tampa Tech and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. And the projector screen is a 120 inch electronic projector screen and it drops down in front of the TV. And uh, the receiver has two HDMI outputs. One HDMI output goes to the TV, the other HDMI output goes to the projector. And the TV must be turned off before you turn on the projector. So this uh, 3D projector is how to set it up. We have this uh, 120 inch screen, it's an electronic uh, screen that drops down in front of the TV. And uh, basically the 120 inch screen, uh, you have to have the projector about 89 inches back from the screen to the front of the lens right there. So that's 89 inches back, seven feet, five inches, I believe. And um, this HDMI cable is going to the back of the receiver. The receiver has two HDMI outputs. One HDMI output goes to the TV, and the other HDMI output goes to the projector. You have to have the TV turned off before you turn on the projector, or else it confuses the uh, system, the setup. All right, so either the projector's on or the TV's on, and not both on. So anyhow, um, this has two HDMI inputs right here, so you can actually hook up another HDMI input if you wanted to. And this is a full 3D, you know, um, 720p projector. It's really highly recommended. Optima is pretty good. So there's detail right there, we're on contrast, right there, and the contrast we have it at 7. Any higher than that, you start losing detail, and then every, you lose your shadows and everything else. So you lower it to right where you see the shadows and the buttons, so it's right about there. So again, display settings is where we have it's all set on. The format is set to auto. All right, if you change it, you notice the picture and getting bigger and smaller. Okay? So it's recommended to have it on auto. We have the edge mask, which brings it in left and right on the, the width. It makes it, uh, it brings the width in and out. Okay? So, and then the zoom, the zoom, basically you just zoom in on the picture. It's not so much the screen, making the screen bigger. Uh, vertical image, uh, V image shift that shifts the picture up and down. Now we have that set at 40. The zoom is set at zero. And then the uh, vertical keystone, the V keystone, is if you have um, the projector uh, mounted high or low, you could adjust the skew. Um, what do you call it? I forget the name of that. But anyway, you could adjust that so it doesn't, uh, see how it's coming in like that? So let's set it at back at negative five so it's square shaped or rectangle shaped. And then the 3D, this is the 3D features in here. So it's active shutter with the 3D glasses that comes in it comes within the box. Um, let's go ahead and go to the setup. Now the setup right here, we got it set to projection right here. And see there's a little picture of it. And it tells you right there with that little picture. So we've set it this way, everything's backwards. And so you'll see once you have it the right way, it'll look perfect. So if you have it on the tabletop or on the ceiling, you can adjust all those settings. Um, projector ID, let me see, audio settings. Yeah, I really highly recommend using a surround sound receiver. Don't use the speakers in the projector unless you're doing a presentation or something. And uh, let's get hit menu to back out of that. Now right here you got a uh, source lock, so it doesn't like you know search for the source. You can set, just lock it onto your like, HDMI one input, which is on right now. Okay, and then high altitude if you're doing this installation in uh, Denver, Colorado, 
Um, you set that to on. And what else is there? Keypad lock, so no one messes with the remote, I guess. Um, test pattern, if you want to test it out and see if you have any pixels popped, you know, like, you know, white, or you could have like a green dot, which is a pixel that could be popped. And lamp settings, so it tells you uh, like the hours of the lamp if you have to reset it or whatever. Uh, I think that, uh, was it, 5,000 hours on the lamp, I believe? 3,000. 3,000. And here's the auto power off and the sleep timer, all that good, all that good stuff. And direct power on. So that's how you do it. That's how you set this whole thing up. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, post a comment below. So after calibrating the, um, the projector using calibration disc, you can see all the darks are accurate, all the brightness is accurate, the colors are accurate. Using the calibration disc, we used monster calibration disc. So I think it looks pretty good.